Thank you. Hello everybody, my name is Craig Bennett and I'm the founder and owner of TechViewSnob. And today we are going to get into another Android tutorial. And as far as this one, we're going to get into the 13th tutorial. If you haven't seen the previous ones, then please feel free to check them out and a card will be there if you haven't seen the last one. But if you want to skip ahead to the next one, which I kind of don't advise because this one's going to be about logging and debugging. So you might want to stick around for this particular one. But still, if you want to skip ahead, then the card will be showing up about now. Now, as far as that goes, what we're going to cover today is how to make a simple log. And this is part of debugging. In the last video, we got into toast notifications. And this is just a separate way of debugging. Now, I'm going to have a link to these two websites. It's Android developing websites. And basically, it's going to get a lot deeper than what I am in this particular video. And you can read up on this stuff in case if you want it to get a little bit more thorough into it. But I, I highly advise it. But you don't have to get into this if you don't want to. But it's preferable. So let's make our first log. So with keeping this, so we um, we can get rid of this if we want, but with keeping this in place, we're going to make a log for when this application turns on. So what we need to do is go down towards the bottom in the onCreate method, and then we need to make the log Dot D, and then we got two things we got to put in. We have to do the string, so we can just type in I don't know something like string, comma, and then we need to type in the message as actually shown down here where it's telling you what to put in. In the message could be anything, and we're just going to put in something like. This is our test log. And we're going to simply close that off. Simple as that. Now, what we need to do is run this particular thing. And you don't have to have the emulator in front of your face right now. But basically, what's going to happen is once it starts running, you should start seeing some logs popping up as you see here and if you don't see this then you can go over to the bottom left and look for the see if I can, the android monitor now what we need to do is simply look for either the um, what we typed so let's do that right here this is our test or we can look for the actual string and there we go the user will not see this however it allows you for debugging keep in mind obviously if the thing is off on someone else's devices that's too late and you want to debug this stuff as soon as possible this helps out to figure out exactly what's going on with your device to figure out what's turning on and what's not in case if you're running into a particular problem that um, may happen during coding some intense stuff. Now you may run into some problems once in a while with other applications or other things and you want to see what's going on specifically if either you're doing an emulator or your actual phone. Or, or another device and a quick way to do this is by going through the log cat now let me explain what you're looking at on the top left side we have our device next to that we have the selected application what we're testing and then if we go all the way to the right side we can actually say we want to see all the logs to do this it says showing only selected application 
we say no filter. So this shows all the stuff. We can even click exile that to clear out the search and we can see all the logs for the verbal level. If we get down to debug, this will show errors and a few other things. And let's go back to Burroughs. And what we want to do is start typing out the string. Now, one thing you may notice is the there's more things showing up here. And as you see here, our bottom thing is, is the application. It won't always be on the bottom. But our bottom thing is from our particular application. But it's a little bit confusing, especially if you have pages and pages and pages of stuff. So that's where the importance of having your tags personalized is um, something that wouldn't be used often, if, if at all. But let's say that you're still running into some problem. What you can do is simply let's go back to show only our application and we can see we only get ours. But uh, let's say that's still a problem. What we can do is start typing out this is. And you can see that other logs have things. Are, and you can see that the only log on the device at its time with something like this is our application. So it's very important to realize that and to realize how to use this properly. Now, something that is common practice when coding applications is simply putting the string as the tag of the class name. Now, what happens if two things? One, we got multiple logs and two, we uh, change the name of the class in the future. Something happens when we change it. So what I'm going to do is go to the very top after we make the class. And then let's go and comment this. And I'm just going to put logs or log. And since we're commenting things, let's go down here and comment on this log. And keep in mind, this will be on GitHub, so you can actually grab the code and copy and paste it on your own stuff in case you need to. And what you need to do is we need to make a public sorry about that, static final. And then we need to type out string tag equals and then I'm just going to copy this dot class get now which one should we pick unfortunately I can't uh, I, I could put up a poll, but um, that won't do much. And since it's not a stream, I won't be able to get feedback. But the answer is is simple name. The reason why is get name is getting the name of the application and the whole thing. Simple name. We're we're just going for the the um, class the, the localized stuff. And you might be saying, all right, so why didn't I just do just make a string with that. Uh, well, what happens is, as you see here, if we click one of these, it highlights the other, well, both of them, and it says that they're related to each other. What this says is refactoring of what we covered a couple of weeks back. If you change one in a refactoring mode, then it will change the other. So let's do that real quick. So let's right click one of them go down to refractor and go to rename and say blah Oops. so there you go <laughs> just 
go back a few, undo, and we just reverse the decision again. In case that was a little too fast, and there was a little hiccup that happened there. We can simply go blah, and you can see that it changes it there. I can actually cancel this by simply hitting the escape key, and it cancels that, and I don't worry about that. Now, from here, you might see that this is still grayed out, and it's not being used. That's actually what it means. So if we go all the way to the bottom, we just simply need to switch out this with tag, and there we go. So now it's being used, and everything's good. And again, same thing here. If we wanted to do a uh, refractor, we can change that and you see it change it there too it's very simple very easy stuff and uh, that way you can get the, the thing now let's run this again so you can see what happens and as you see here it actually changed the actual tag now let's go one step further and I want to have another lock and say the button was clicked or say whatever you want but let's just leave it at that and then let's load it up and let, let it do its thing and basically, just explain real quick, what I'm going to show is the importance of having that tag. So if we let it load up, you can actually see here, we know which activity it was working with since we said show only selected application. So we know which activity it's with and also we know the actual tag so say we put the um, application started so we know that if, if, if we change the tag and then if we say button clicked or something like that then we know from that tag so what was that and you can go further with the debugging. It's it's really up to you. But this is just to show that the importance of that. So say for example, if I just say the, I, I can get a bunch of things, but I'm also missing one tag, one debug log. Whereas if I put in there main activity, the I can see all the logs for that. Keep in mind if you use something like no filters that the 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 tag itself may not be worthwhile the actual particular log will be but if you're actually showing for a particular activity then it will be worthwhile and that's where your energy will really be focused on is showing only in a selected application now as far as that goes again you can get this code from the github page it'll be in the description but as far as everything else goes if you like this video and it's helped you out then please feel free to go to our patreon campaign and donate there to help more of these videos come out but also please feel free to like subscribe and share especially share to help more people out and i'll see you in the next video and hope you have a great day